Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today I am finally showing off my new spirit items. That's right, I have officially started murdering my wallet. <laughs> so, I have two spirit props here today, and I'm going to start with the flashback, but I will cover poor George soon. Stay tuned. Now, this is a prop that I have, I have admittedly wanted for a while. But the original ones have had such poor quality that I've just not touched them. But when I saw the massive quality upgrades and when Aiden K, huge shout out to him, absolute sweetheart, showed me the just amazing upgrades this one had, I hopped on it. This is the Creepy Rising Doll by Seasonal Design. Not Seasonal Visions. No, 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 no. This is Seasonal Design, which is a sister company of Seasonal Visions. Yes, and people say, oh, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, but I can be technical because through shipment data, it did come in through Seasonal Design, not Seasonal Visions. Seasonal Visions has so many sister companies, guys. I can't keep up anymore. So, this is originally from 2015, the big one, and the smaller one predates that. I can't remember when the small one came out. So, this is the bigger version. She sits at five feet in the down position and then rises to like six and a half feet, I want to say, give or take. Maybe she goes up to seven. I don't, f I haven't really measured it. She is pretty tall, so I want to say about seven feet, roughly, but I could be totally off. So this is a really cool prop, and it's one of my favorite rising characters because of just how uncanny and weird it is. So basically the concept is, in my eyes, is that it's like this creature that's wearing a doll's face. And it acts all cute and innocent until it, gets a, until it like starts to rise and then like the jaw unhinges, which is super creepy and I love that and hate it at the same time because it really creeps me out, right? It's super cool. I, I like it. I like the kind of gross, ragged clothing it wears. And this is actually, by the way, it's my first rising prop too. So really excited to finally have one of these. I've always wanted one. But it's a really, it's always been a really creepy concept, and I've always liked it because I love my creepy dolls. You guys know how much I love my creepy doll props, and I love the big dolls because they're even creepier. So this is kind of like Abandoned Annie, before Abandoned Annie existed, but um, the gimmick with Annie is that her upper head is like the hinge jaw. This is like a normal jaw hinge. Now... If you have seen the original Creepy Rising Doll, you would know that this head is a, um, I think it's blister mold, and it's like a half head. So it's blow mold, and it's still kind of a half head. This part is still hollow for the internals, but it's a lot thicker. I mean, it's going to last. And I mean, look at that. Look at that quality. This is what Aiden showed me. He, showed, he gave me like a side view of his Creepy Rising Doll's head. That's so much nicer. It looks so much nicer. Honestly. So, it has like a big baby doll face. And it's kind of like gross looking and old. So they give it like a crackle paint finish. I'm a sucker for crackle paint. And the mouth is cracked where it unhinges. Now on these, it's a lot more obvious than the old ones. I don't really mind all that much. I'm not too much of a stickler on it. Now, what I am more of a stickler on, and I mentioned it in my video, just like my Triple Terror video, is that I don't care for how faint these are, like the little lines. I'm going to go through with some black permagrime and just kind of drip it over to make it kind of like some runny muck, because it's kind of what it is. Now, I did say I didn't like how they didn't ha it didn't have the blood around the mouth. I take that back. I like that it doesn't have that, because now it makes it more subtle. You know, 
uh, it's not as obvious at first glance that this opens. So I, I t actually take that back. I do like how it has like some sculpted on baby doll hair as well. Like, you know, a baby doll, like a porcelain baby doll would have. Like an old vintage one. I do believe that this is actually a mask sculpt as well that they have reused on this prop, which is kind of cool. Because I think this sculpt predates the actual prop itself. I could be totally wrong though. So it does have the typical SVI hands and uh, it does not have the crackle fin. Well, no, it does. It's just super faint. It really won't pick up on camera. It's like really, really fancy. Uh, this hand's a lot better. Yeah. The, I will say that the crackle on this one is not as good as the old one. I, I think it's just because the, the under, like the color underneath is not as um, dark. I feel like they painted it and then they did the crackle over it. So it's kind of a gray and not black. And it just, it doesn't crack as much. So it's, it's really not as noticeable. The mechanism, again, is, is so much better. She's a lot more stable too, which is nice. So she doesn't wobble as bad. She does wobble a little bit, but hey, you know, I'll take it whether, I'll take that over a string basically controlling this whole prop and that being as frail as it is. So it's like an actual nice mechanism. I won't show it off. Um, there, there's plenty of videos showing the, the mechanism in action, but it is a lot better. I think someone, someone has a video comparing the mechanism of this one to the old one. And again, it's much better. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn her on. We're gonna hit the floor. Sorry, you guys can go into the void. Woo! Oh, also, um, oh, this is out of the box, which is all in only. I can't remember the price off the top of my head. It was pretty decent. Oh, I'm stuck on the adapter. Hello. Do you want to play with me? Let's play a game. The rules are very simple. Come over here and I'll show you. Don't be afraid. Come a little closer. That's right. Here, let me stand up so I can see you. Ah, yes. Now I can see you. You look good enough to eat. We can play hide and seek if you want to. You run and I'll come find you. I love a good chase. <laughs> It's so cool. The audio quality is great on this thing too. And she gets loud. I have her on max volume. So she's got like a nice booming presence. Go ahead and turn her off. Hello. Do you want to play with me? I don't want to play with you actually. <laughs> so yeah, again, massive improvements. I do believe the audio quality also improved, which again, massive plus. I've always liked this prop. I like how, so here's some things I really like about it. Um, and this is like going with the new and the old one. I like how it starts off like kind of cutesy, like a normal, like little kid. And when it does that, the eyes fl like flash blue. And then when it turns evil, it, the eyes turn red and the jaw hinges and she starts to stand up or rise. Dude, that's so creepy. And what I like, too, is that with this, there is another prop that kind of accompanies it, which is Darling Dolly, which, yes, I will for sure buy. Like, I mean, that's a given. Again, I love the creepy doll props. I am so happy that this returned. I was kind of hoping she wouldn't at first, but then I'm, but then I'm like, okay, yeah, absolutely. I'm very happy. Because, again, it's a really good prop. It's actually really creepy. And in my haunt, I think it's going to get some really good scares. Again, because of just how, like, terrifying it is. I mean, it's a terrifying prop. So I I'm really happy we got this back. I'm really happy that seasonal design, or seasonal visions, whatever, 
made the massive improvements that they did. It's just, it's a really good prop, and they made a, uh, they made an already good prop into a better prop. So I'm super satisfied. I can, I don't remember the price. I think it was two thirty or two fifty, somewhere in that range. It's a, it's a pretty reasonable price for what it is. I recommend her. I highly recommend her. It's definitely going to last a lot longer than the old one did. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.